Welcome to our, our, should we call this a fireside chat or just like a hang <laughs> session with yeah. Ava Max from Atlanta Records. I'm Ryan from FM 100. My co-host Michelle Lewis is on here too. We're from the FM 100 Morning Show and welcome to our hang session with Ava Max. Welcome, yay. Hi everyone. <laughs> We're so excited to be hanging out with you and I know they have a lot of questions and uh, Ryan has been dying to ask you this one, I know, so I'm going to let him do it. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about your haircut for a second, because it's a big part of your merchandise. Um, it's uh, kind of like your image. I know it's called the Max Cut, but how did you decide on that? Decide on that to be a big part of who you are and who, what you stand for. It's all about really cutting out all negative energy out of your way and being yourself and not letting anyone tell you what to do. Just really starting your own trends, not following them. Good, I like that. Yeah. And I Thanks. must say, I am a huge TikToker. I'm probably way more hey. obsessed than I probably <laughs> should be. And I'm curious how you feel about just the fact that Kings and Queens has just exploded all over the app and it's become such a phenomenal yeah. way for people to post videos and share just basically a movement of female empowerment. How does that feel to see all these videos? I'm sure you're getting dinged every single time just to watch them on TikTok and see it just explode like that on the app for people to express themselves. It's amazing. I mean, the first time I saw someone do a TikTok to my song was with Not Your Barbie Girl, and it had over mm -hmm. 4 billion videos before oh. Sweet But Psycho. And I was like, how is this even possible? Um, TikTok really helped me with my music, especially in the beginning. I mean, um, TikTok has been so good to me. <laughs> The Barbie girl ones are intense. I don't even know how they transition. I'm like, okay, uh -huh. way out of my league. <laughs> it. well, we know we, we've got a bunch of people in here that have a, uh, a lot of questions. So we want to make sure that they have their time with you too. So we're going to toss to them. And I know Devin has a question that he wants to ask you. Hey, Devin. Hi, Ava. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm so excited to meet you. I wish that it was in person, but you know... <laughs> Hopefully one day it'll be, you know, in person. Definitely. Um, so my question is, if you do decide to tour after Corona is over, whether that be a tour that you're headlining or even as an opening act to somebody, who is an artist that you would like to um, tour alongside with? <laughs> oh, I would love to have an opening act actually that has someone like a, maybe like a ventriloquist or something crazy or like, um, or like, I don't know, like someone who dances ballet incredibly well or something, something to put a spotlight on something that maybe doesn't get spotlight lit so much. So, so like give some people a chance to really show their talent that usually don't. So something like that, I would love. <laughs> Jennifer and Nora, what's your question for Ava Max? So my question is, what do you like doing when you're, when you're not busy? Oh my God, you are so cute, first of all. Hi, and hi, mom. <laughs> uh, when I'm not busy, I, man, I like to watch movies. I like to watch TV shows and just relax and do nothing because I feel like I'm always doing something. I'm always really busy. So when I get to turn off my mind and like start recharging, it's either reading a book or watching a movie or going on a walk, um, you know, kind of just hearing nature. <laughs> so what's a good movie you've seen lately, Ava? Ooh, Equals with Nicholas Holt and Kristen Stewart. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. Was we'll it have to check that out. It's futuristic. It's pretty crazy. Very cool. Okay. Shelby, what's your question for Ava today? Um, so I was wondering if you had any advice for somebody that's trying to go into like the music business because that's what I'm studying right now. Um, do you want to song write? No. <laughs> or do you want to, or do you want to like, do like the more business side? Just the business side. I think just learn about music as much as you can, the history of music, music in the 80s, in the 90s, in the 2000, early 2000s, just learn about the history of music and what you really want to like say and do in the music industry. Just like perfect that. Okay, thank you. Of course. And Michelle, <laughs> I saw you guys pop on there. Do you have a question for Ava Max that you want to ask? Hello. <laughs> Can you hear us? Are they muted? I think they're muted. I think you're yeah. muted, Michelle. Unmute you. Uh, there you go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. Hi. Hi. 
you are so cute. How are you guys? Good. I just picked my little cousin up from school. We go to the same school. Oh, I miss school. <laughs> There's a baby. There's Hi, a little cutie. baby. My sister. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Do you guys hey, have a question? Yes, I actually did this because my daughter's birthday was yesterday. She turned nine yesterday, so oh, I did this for her. Birthday. Happy birthday. Right here. Thank you. Happy you birthday. I hope, you ate, I hope you ate a lot yes, of cake. I have, a, I have a question. Yeah. Or do you actually play Harley Quinn in the movies? <laughs> <laughs> I don't play Harley Quinn. I understand the resemblance, but I do love Margot Robbie. She plays really well, right? The movie's really good. One day, maybe. You look just like her. <laughs> really? uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you for your you question. Look I love her. Ava, I hope you're less violent than she is. I know. Oh my you God. Look beautiful. Thank you are beautiful. You are though. <laughs> oh, I love you she guys. Beautiful. She Thank said you're you beautiful. <laughs> you're beautiful. You guys are beautiful. Mwah. Thank you for your question. <laughs> and we also uh, know that you have a lot of fans that couldn't make it today. And a lot of people were reaching out on Twitter. And a big question that I got a lot of was, and we should say that your album, Congratulations, is coming out tomorrow. We should say that. <laughs> and they want, everyone has been asking, can we expect to see a vinyl? Can we expect to see a deluxe version? That was like the number one question that we were getting a lot of just in inquiries about. Deluxe, I mean, there will always be music coming out. So I can tell you that, a lot, a lot of music, no shortage of music. Um, uh, the vinyls, I think we're gonna do a present later on in the year with that. Like we're gonna do a little special gift thing with that. So mm -hmm. yeah, my, to your question, yes. <laughs> And you, you know, you talk about music and I know we have people that are doing and looking into music as a career. I thought this was a really cool question that a fan submitted that I wanted to ask for them. This is from Azul. They said, what's your favorite lyric off of this album? My favorite lyric, that's a good one. Um, I like that a lot. Me too. Um, I don't know whether to kiss you or punch you. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny in the bridge. It's kind of funny and silly, and that's why I like it. But there are a lot of really great lyrics. Like, um, yeah, there's a lot of great lyrics. That's just one of them. <laughs> yeah, really that's already that. one of my favorite lyrics because I've actually said that to somebody. <laughs> I think like, we probably all have at some point. <laughs> we feel like that in every situation, basically, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Ava, we've been in quarantine for, gosh, it seems like two years now, but it's really only been about six months. What has been your favorite quarantine snack or have you, have you discovered something new that you like to eat over the past six months? I've discovered that I still like salami out the box. Oh. <laughs> I love, so I eat a lot of salami. I don't know, like it's really bad for you, so I wouldn't recommend it. But, it is. Uh, it's really funny because my fans actually have a funny like saying like thing about it like they have instagrams called salami at the box and it's uh -huh. salami on my faces and like it's, <laughs> it's really really funny but i i still eat salami um i've been trying the gluten-free thing and it's not working so now i'm eating gluten again because of the album release we gotta eat cake we have to yeah, eat cake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay it's sad i just had cake last night actually so with, <laughs> with the champagne that you sent out which is actually really funny so thank you thank you for the champagne no but, uh, and speaking of of food since we're talking which by the way i'm a huge salami person uh if you could and this is another question that came off twitter that i absolutely love that somebody wanted to ask and i thought it was super clever your album like we said heaven and hell comes out tomorrow if you can describe how it tastes what would you say your album tastes like? It smells like roses and poison ivy, and it tastes like, it tastes like, I, I had to start with the smell, but it tastes like, um, it tastes like pretzel and jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just love that you knew immediately what it smelled like. I'm in the room with right now. Everyone's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. Well, we're just so thankful for the time. Again, Heaven and Hell, the album comes out tomorrow. And we just really appreciate you taking the time to speak with us and meet some of your fans. That's really cool of you. And we just 
we really well, we can't thank you enough. I miss, I miss being on tour and seeing my fans. So virtually, this is the best we can do right now. So I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Mwah. Thank you for the time. I hope you guys had a great time. Let's give a big round of applause for Ava Max. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you, thank you for and getting good luck on. with the album tomorrow, for sure. Thank so excited. You. Thank, so thank excited. you, Ava. Can't wait to stream it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you Bye. on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs>